গরম হঠাৎ করে পরে পরে তাড়াতাড়ি আমি হচ্ছে হসপিটালে নেওয়ার জন্যে আমার গাড়ি ওখানে হচ্ছে ই করে নিয়ে আসছি তাড়াতাড়ি নিয়ে আসছি নিয়ে আসার সাথে হসপিটালে নিয়ে যাওয়ার চেষ্টা করতেছিলাম আর এর মধ্যে একটা পুলিশের গাড়ির সাথে তো আমার কিছু হয়নি ববরে হসপিটালে নিয়ে যাওয়া হয়েছে Stand here with my friend Mir who is just broadsided by a Portland police officer who is going about 30 to 35 miles an hour did not attempt to stop and broadsided Mir spun him off the road into the telephone pole where he bounced off the telephone pole final resting spot My buddy Mike owns the garage right at the bottom of our street. to hear which bounced off the pole so obviously they had plenty of time to get halfway across the road that means the officer had plenty of time to react which he didn't officer 1066 I believe it was is leaving the scene of an accident Really? They tell you you can go? Mm -hmm. They tell you you're all set and you can go? No. So why does that officer leave? Because there's one officer. Oh, I know that, but no field sobriety test for the officer? It seems kind of strange. Like maybe they're trying to cover something up. What are they waiting on? I don't get it. How can they leave the scene of an accident? another officer 
Did they give you the office's insurance company? They give you all the information for the office's insurance and everything? Did they admit fault? Uh, no. Actually, they didn't give me anything and I'm holding on the fucking phone forever. I just logged into my account, progressive account, and I found the policy number from there. But um, I gave them my ID and uh, things and it was still in his hand. So this cop over here has your ID and... Yeah, a registration and ID. Fifteen miles an hour. Man, he must have been cruising to be able to hit you with no brakes, no nothing. I wonder how fast he was going exactly. Because, I mean, that takes a lot of force to spin a car off the road and hit a pole like that. I don't have any cigarettes on me. I ran out of the house because fucking I didn't hear what my sister, but I heard them all run down the stairs and then like I caught up to them. I was like, what's going on? They're like, Tarsha was just in an accident. I made it here before everybody else did, but I didn't bring any cigarettes with me. I just find it weird that the cop left, like, you know, trying to make it like they weren't even ever here. So anyway, Portland police officer did this. My friend Mir was coming across Gilman Street where that car just came out, was coming across the road here and was T-boned by an officer who is no longer here by the way, I will add, that they took off. No words, no apology, they just took off. Here comes another police officer. Everybody wants to check out, see what happened. But nobody wants to stick around and give answers. This police officer has been sitting in his car playing on the computer for the last 20 minutes. And my friend Mir is still sitting here with his broken car with no answers from the Portland Police Department. Again, sitting in his car playing on the computer.